Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Uh, daily Rewards Claim for Tuesday. Uh, the game went down for maintenance, so just came back up and was able to get seven silver chests. So let's go ahead and claim these. Hope everyone is having a good day. This will probably be a shorter video since this is the only count I was able to play yesterday. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the bottom two chests. Legendary Potion, Alchemy Potion. A little bit of SPS, some more SPS, a little more SPS, and two potions. So no cards today. Hmm, not even merits. Kind of surprising. Healing is the focus. Let's go claim our SPS rewards. Claim and stake our SPS. SPS under four cents. That just looks so strange. One thing I wanted to talk about a little bit too is the GLX token. <coughs> so let's take a look. So on, as you can see, I'm up to getting close to a thousand uh, GLX staked. Uh, what I did this morning is I took, I think the nine GLX that I had for my airdrop and just converted that into vouchers. So right now the GLX price, just a few days ago, you know, it consistently been in the 20 to 25 cent range. I think yesterday it dropped down to like 17, 18. Now it pushed as low, I think I saw it earlier today, as low as 11.7 cents, 12 cents. So I don't know if there's like a panic sell now, if this is just a temporary blip. Um, but what I have been doing is um, taking part of my earnings and just converting to vouchers since they're about the same price, um, simply because I can't see GLX going from 11, 12 cents back to 50 cents or a dollar. I don't think it's ever gotten that high, but at some point in the future, I can I can see vouchers going back up to, you know, at least 40, 50 cents, if not close to a dollar. If there's, you know, better market conditions and there's a new product that they're going to come out with where you need to have vouchers. Uh, one thing they talked about in the town hall yesterday was Matt was saying they were going to try to get a promo card by the end of the year. Okay, odds are that promo card is probably going to take a lot of vouchers. So I don't expect the voucher price to shoot up to a dollar because of it, but I can see it going to at least 25, 30 cents maybe when the promo card's announced. Once again, it's all determined how many vouchers do you need and how good is the promo card. And also how many of the promo card is there going to be a set amount? You know, are they going to say, hey, we're only going to have a thousand of this Legendary promo card, you know, that's awesome. Vouchers might tick up a lot if it's, oh, it's a promo card, but it's uh, splinter specific or, you know, just not that good, then it probably won't move the voucher price a whole lot. But that's kind of what I'm doing with uh, with my GLX tokens, especially at these low prices. I'm just going to keep restaking and building it. Um, I think long term, once the game comes out, you know, soccer is such a popular game worldwide. And let's say next summer GLX announces, hey, we're doing a partnership with Major League Baseball, you know, or the NBA or the NFL. This, this is very long term. I mean, I don't see this price going up for GLX anytime in the foreseeable future, you know, above, you know, maybe we go back up to 20 cents or so. Um, it's, it's just going to slowly trend down. Uh, one interesting take, though, might be what happens if there's like seven and a half million GLX stake now. What if everyone sees the price go down and they're they're like, oh my God, I'm I'm gonna unstake everything and just sell and get what I can get. You might actually see this daily staked amount start to level out. And then what happens if this daily staked amount actually goes down where people aren't staking and people are actually, you know, selling all of their GLX? Well, if this total amount goes down, whatever you have staked, even if you don't add anything to it, your earnings are going to start going up. So I think that's not a very likely possibility, but it is a possibility that um, this amount starts slowing down. I, at least from what I've seen, this amount seems to go up by about half a million a day. Um, it may start slowing down. Maybe it only starts going up 300,000 a day or 200,000, or like I said, gets to a point where it stays static. If people, that could be another catalyst too, if people see this total staked amount start to slow down and then actually slightly go down, 
that might be a snowball effect where like people see this and they're like, oh wait, everybody's unstaking. Maybe I should unstake too. So uh, this is definitely something you want to keep an eye on every day. I'm kind of tracking it. Um, even if you're not huge into GLX or don't have a big financial investment in it, just every day, guys, take a look at the amount staked and, and just see if it's starting to level off. Um, like I said, if it does start leveling off or going down, I would say just keep whatever you have staked, unless, especially if it's free. If you haven't put any money into this and this is just free airdrops, I would say just leave it in there and let it build and then your amount will start going up as the amount stake goes down. Um, if you have put money into it, take a little bit out, you know, every day. Try to get your, your initial capital back. That would be not financial advice, but just, you know, something that I think would be wise to do. Like I said, I think a lot of people haven't put a lot of money into this. Like I honestly, I only put $100 into this and I did so when it was 20 some cents. So I got like 400 GLX out of it. Right now, if I was to cash out with I've already cashed out, I would be slightly ahead. But I'm not worried about that investment that I put in because I'm just looking at this long term. I think I've probably already pulled out maybe $30 or more in value for um, what I've gotten for staking rewards. But like I said, just keep an eye on the total staked amount and and just go with that you know if you don't have any money invested just keep just let it build just forget about it you know sit and forget claim your rewards every day and just let it build um other assets to look at um dec i'm still looking at increasing my dec position i really don't have a lot but at this price i need to start loading up on dec um sps i'm happy with where i'm at right now i've got like 15,000 sps staked I'm going to leave it staked. I'm going to continue earning from that. If I had some extra capital, I probably would put a little bit in. But for me, the main thing I want to start building is DEC. Um, my voucher balance, I'm happy with. I had like almost no vouchers. I just want to show you my wallet. So you can see the vouchers that I picked up just through my GLX trading. So I had basically no vouchers. Now I'm up to 80 which for me is great. Like I said, for my SPS that I have staked, I'm only getting like 0.6 vouchers a day. So for me to be able to pick up 80, you know, in just a week, just from swapping GLX, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I picked up a little bit of the Wu token just because I think it's it's got potential long-term. So I'm probably not going to add to this a whole lot more, but if this spikes, I might take some of this out and convert it over to, uh, to DEC. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's the uh, quick opening, just a little bit of GLX talk for today. Oh, I had one other thing I wanted to mention. A couple of people were asking me about Splinter Forge. Um, the game is supposed to launch January 2nd is when the game will go live. Uh, I'm trying to remember the exact date for the pre-sale. The pre-sale was in December. I think it's in three weeks. So sometime early, mid-December, the pre-sale will open where you can buy uh, packs and enhancement bags. Um, but the game goes live January 2nd next year. Um, if you haven't gone to the Discord, go on Discord. You can get a message from uh, Splinter Forge. Um, let's go over their message from today. Um, this is from one of the, the founders. I want to make something clear to everyone about pack sales. This is to do with bag sales. And bag sales are... The enhancement bags, like your gems and your runes. Um, he's saying only Forgium, which is their token, will be used to buy bags and no other token. The forge used to buy bags will be burned. You may want to save some of your forge to buy bags. Okay, so you will be able to buy the equipment, um, which is like your weapons and armor, with DEC and Forgium, but the enhancement bags can only be used with the Forgium token. So if you're interested in Splinter Forge at all, just make sure that you have some um, capital set aside to buy Forgium. Um, if you want to buy um, packs with DEC, you will be able to do that. So just for people that are interested in Splinter Forge, like I said, I think it's a fun game. I think it's worth playing. Um, it's a nice break from the Splinterlands grind. So if you're interested in that at all, just go to splinterforge.io. Um, I did a couple videos talking about gameplay so you can check those out it is a fun game to play 
Okay, guys, there you have it. There's the uh, video for today. Um, like I said, I'm still working on the DEC video. Uh, probably get that out sometime in the next couple days. Why you want a million DEC. Um, until then, hope everyone's having a great day. Good luck with your daily grind, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.